good afternoon. Today, I will be explaining how to obtain the nth degree polynomial f of x given the given two zeros in the initial condition of f of x equals 104. So if the two zeros are 3 and 5i, we must know that this 5i came from somewhere. 5i came from taking the square root of something to get 5i. So that means to get 5i, we took the square root of negative 25 to get positive and negative 5i. So even though they gave us two zeros, it's really three zeros because of the 5i situation. So with that being said, we turn these zeros back into its original factors of where the zeros came from. Okay. Then what we're gonna do is begin foiling, also known as distributing, implementing the distributive property. First, I'm going to multiply together the factors that have the i's in them. So first, x squared, outer, 5xi, inner, minus 5xi, last, minus 25i squared. Notice that the inner and outer cancel out. 5xi minus 5xi is 0. We're just left with x squared minus 25i squared. Notice or recall that i is the square root of negative 1. So if we square both sides, We square both sides. The square on the right side cancels out the square root, just leaving negative one. So I squared is negative one. Because of that, that makes the, that turns the negative positive. That's where x squared plus 25 came from. Then, now that that's foiled, we foil again with the x minus 3 term. First, x cubed, outer plus 25x, inner minus 3x squared, last, negative 3 times 25 is negative 75. Then we rearrange the terms in descending degree order from greatest exponent to least exponent to give us our polynomial that we were looking for, x cubed minus 3x squared plus 25x minus 75. I hope this helped. My name is Tim, the tutor. Thank you for your time. Thank you.